Welcome to the Building Up Women in Property podcast. I'm your host, Rebecca Bangura, and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. This podcast is for ambitious women who work in property and construction, who want to learn how to have a career they love on their terms. Join me every week where I'll leave you excited and confident to take your next steps. Thanks for being here with me. Now let's get started. Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Building Up Women in Property podcast. Now, I am so excited to have you here because the truth is we need more women just like you in our industry. And my intention for this podcast is really to support you as a woman in a man's world to be confident and empowered so that you can do impactful and fulfilling work that lights you up. And while we're at it, I want to make sure that you're getting paid fairly and that you have all the choice and options available to you because you deserve to be here. And the truth is, our industry really does need more inclusion, more diversity, and more representation. And we've got a long way to go. But as people in the property and construction industry, we are shaping the environment that we and society at large live in and work in and play in. And the more ideas and different ways of thinking that we can bring into that planning and delivery process, the more evolved the places we create will be. We will be creating more inclusive and diverse and exciting places for people to live and to work and to play in. And so we need your voice here. We need to mix things up so that we can create more opportunities and better environments for everyone. And today, as we start this journey on this podcast together, I really want to focus on on you as the individual. Because the truth is, there are lots of systemic and cultural challenges that we face as women in this industry. There are issues around entry into the workforce, pay equity issues, flexibility issues, harassment. These are all very real things. And we will talk about these over the coming episodes. But I want to make sure that you walk away from today feeling in control of your career and your destiny. Because here's the truth, you are. Because there has never been a better time to be a woman in our industry. The old boys club that have run the show for centuries have finally figured out that they need women in their workplaces to drive change and to create better outcomes. And so I want to make sure that you're in a position to really maximise on those opportunities and to do something that lights you up and excites you. Because the truth is, who just wants to show up to work for a paycheck? I'm guessing not you because you wouldn't be listening to this podcast if that were the case. You want something more and I want to make sure that you are able to go out and make it happen. And the number one thing that I think is holding women back is playing small. And I think we are all guilty of this at some point and it can show up in different ways. So one way is you know what you want, but you're scared to actually stand up and scream it from the rooftops because you're scared of failure or scared of the judgment that will come with such a bold declaration. Or you might be at a point where you know you want something more in your career, but you can't quite put a name on it. And you're stuck in indecision or uncertainty, trying to figure out what the right thing is or trying to create a achievable goal in order to get there. And so you're hiding behind uncertainty by not making a decision. And that allows you to keep hidden and stops you from going after what you actually want. Like, get honest with yourself. Do you find yourself keeping your ambitions to yourself? Do you find yourself waiting for permission, waiting to be asked? And are you scaling down your dreams so that they're more palatable to other people or they seem more realistic and achievable? Because how we play small, it shows up in many different ways. But at the centre of it, is that we are shrinking away from taking action because we are uncomfortable or we are scared that we will fail. And in doing so, we settle for less than we want and less than we are capable of because we are scared and we don't want to take the risks because we fear that we might look stupid or be ridiculed. And sometimes we don't even know that we're doing it. Like this can show up as women not celebrating their achievements because the fear of tall poppy syndrome or not wanting to take on roles or even declare their interest in something because they're scared that they won't measure up or that they'll fail. And the result is, well, they do fail. And it's called an avoidance failure. And it has nothing to do with not being capable. It's simply that they avoided ever taking the risk, right? They 
avoided the opportunity completely and they never got in the arena and took the shot. So I want you to really think about your career. Are you showing up fully as the most expressed, genuine version of yourself? Are you being that, you know, authentic, vulnerable person that you are? Or are you wearing a mask so that you don't rock the boat and don't open yourself up to judgment or criticism and you get on with everyone? Because what we often do, especially in these male-dominated environments, is we train ourselves to wear these masks. And that facade of being the nice girl that isn't too ambitious or too confronting or too up herself or whatever version of that mask is for you, it robs you of your power. It stops you showing up as the person that you really are. And I know that we need to be standing in our own power in order to create the career and the life we want. We can't fake our way to this and we can't be afraid. We can't keep playing safe and have the career and impact that we dream of, right? The two things are not compatible. If you want to be doing work that excites you and keeps challenging you and allows you to have a big impact in the world, you are going to have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, right? Because as long as we are comfortable and free from judgment, we are selling ourselves and our dreams short. And we're also selling the people around us short too. They are seeing a watered down version of who we are and they are getting watered down result. Because when we are playing small, we are motivated by our fears and that keeps us stuck and it stops us contributing or creating a maximum impact in the world. And here's the thing. No one is going to tap you on the shoulder and give you the stage or the platform to create the career you want, right? It's not how it works. You need to own it. You need to put yourself firmly in control of your career and of your life and be brave enough to show up as that version of yourself, like that badass version of yourself that is ready and committed to pursuing your dreams. So take a moment and think about it. Where are you playing small? Where are you not speaking up? Where are you waiting for other people to step in? What aren't you doing because you're scared you'll fail or you're scared of what other people will think? Like what dreams or ambitions have you let go of or toned down to suit other people? And really, take some time. Think about this. Because I think 95% of us are playing small. And believe me, I know It's taken me a really long time to put this podcast out in the world for fear that I'm not qualified enough and I'm worried about what other people will think or in case I screw it up and get it wrong. But at some point, if we want to have that career that we really aspire to, we need to commit and we need to get on with it. We have to show up fully as ourselves, you know, warts and all, and take action. And the truth is, we're going to screw up on the way and things are not going to go right all the time. And we have to be willing to let go of other people's judgment so that you can respect and value yourself as a priority. And we have to accept that we might screw up. Creating a career that we want requires us to show up fully as ourselves and take actions. And in doing that, we have to be willing to let go of other people's opinions of us and really stand in a place where we respect and value ourselves as the priority right? Let's stop worrying about everyone else and let's just zone in on what we want. What is it you want? What is going to make you happy? And are you willing to actually go for it? Irrespective of what could go wrong and what other people will think and say, believe me, everyone's going to have their opinion. But I always like to think, you know, what other people think of me is none of my business. I want to wake up every day knowing that I am genuine and I'm true to myself. That has to be my number one priority. So I invite you to look at your career and think about what you truly want and who that version of you is, right? Stop hiding yourself and instead allow yourself to really expand, to create a new concept of what is possible for your career and for your life. Really allow yourself to dream bigger and be unapologetic about what you want and the impact that you want to have in the world. And you might be motivated by any number of things. You might be motivated by the impact you have, the work you do, the money you can generate, the platform you can have access to. Whatever motivates you is fine. Don't apologize for that. But I want you to just think about what would you do if anything was possible? If the sky was the limit, 
Who would you want to be? Get really clear on that in your own mind, okay? Give yourself the time and space to dwell on that idea. What is that version of you who is playing big? What is she doing? What does she want? What is she fighting for? And as you think about these, notice your brain is going to put up resistance. It is going to try and focus your attention on all the reasons that you shouldn't attempt to do something big and bold or out of your comfort zone. But I want you to push beyond that doubt and that resistance and really consider what would your impact be in the world if you were playing big? What would your legacy be? What would you be known for? What do you want to be known for? And allow yourself to sit with this and see what comes up for you. And for some people, this will be really challenging. You might never have allowed yourself to have this blue sky thinking before. You might have always been told to go and get that real job and be realistic about your dreams. But I want you to shift your own perception of yourself, right? And it might involve uncovering layers of armour that you've built up over the years and really explore your ambition and drive with fresh eyes. And once you have that clear vision of that dream, of that version of you that is doing that fulfilling, meaningful work, I want you to think about the cost of them playing small. Because the truth is, it comes at a cost. What is that cost for you? Is it your sense of pride and purpose? Is it your happiness? Is it your financial success? Right? That's a big one. Is it your confidence? Your self-respect? And I want you to really ponder this. Are you willing to live your life and forgo those things? Will you be happy on your deathbed knowing that you lived a completely safe (laughs) and unremarkable life? I don't think so. I hope you've been enjoying the episode. I wanted to take a moment to let you know about my free Career Confidence Masterclass. This is for ambitious career orientated women who are ready to stop playing small and to confidently create a career you love. Head over to my website, beautifuldisruptions.com for more info. Now let's get back to the episode. I want to invite you to stop hiding Give yourself that space to really dream big. What would you do if anything were possible? And then I want you to decide and declare it. You might write it down in your journal. You might tell your best friend or your mom or your partner, but put it out in the world, not just in your own head. Put it somewhere and keep in mind, why does it matter to you? Why is this important? And keep that front and center. And while you're doing all of this, Instead of thinking about what could go wrong, I want you to think about what could go right. What would happen if everything went right and you achieved this? What would your life look like then? What would your impact be then? How would you feel then? And get the people around you who are going to support you on that journey. The people that are going to be by your side and pick you up and dust you off when you do screw up and when things don't go right. But they're going to hold that vision of what you want for you. And they're going to keep you on that path as well because they believe in you. These are the people you want around you. And it's important you bring them in on what it is that matters to you, where you're going. Let them be part of that journey. And just keep approaching this from a place of possibility and curiosity. You don't have to have all the answers. You just have to trust where you're at and keep moving forward. So think about what is the one thing I can do right now that will move me in the right direction. You don't have to have this all figured out, but you have to have a vision and you need to just be taking action because the truth is clarity comes from action, not from thought. So start to expect that things will go wrong and that is all part of the process. And when things do veer off course, you can always come back to these three questions. What worked? What didn't? And what would I do differently? Because we have to be willing to fail and to grow from those failures in order to live a big life. And I want you to really think about what is the cost of you playing small? What is the impact of you not sharing your brilliance and your perspective with the world? Our industry will miss out on a leader or on an advocate and a role model. And believe me, there are always people around you who will benefit from you taking up space and playing big. 
And often you won't even know that those people are there watching you. It might be the other woman that's in the room who sees you stand up and speak out. Or it might be your kids who see your passion and your drive and they create a new reality of what is possible. Because in stepping up and playing big, by taking up space, you are an example of what is possible and you are literally creating change not only for yourself but for all the people around you. And frankly, as I said at the start, we need more women in property and construction to be willing to step up and be willing to play big because without it, that status quo of the boys club, it's going to continue to exist. And we will continue to see women being paid less than our male counterparts and women will continue to leave the industry in droves, particularly at that mid-career point. And there will remain only a handful of women in senior leadership and board positions. And I think we all agree, right? It's time for change. We need genuine equity, diversity and inclusion in our industry. And it won't happen unless we push for it and we stand up for it. Every single one of us. And again, playing big will look different for each of us, right? There is no one size fits all. But I want you to get clear on what it is you want. What is going to make you happy? What is going to make you feel valued and respected? And then I want you to just make the decision to stop playing small, right? And to start showing up as yourself. And this will involve you sharing opinions and making requests and not just waiting for opportunities to come to you. It will require you to seek opportunities and take control and ownership of your career. And so really, I want you to decide you're going to take up space and be whoever you feel called to be. Stop waiting for permission or for an invitation. You need to just start showing up. You need to have your own back and empower yourself to unapologetically create the career you dream of. And once you make that commitment to stop playing small, it's from there that you can start taking action. And as you do, you'll build up the self-belief and the confidence that will fuel you. You'll learn to trust yourself more and you'll develop more self-awareness and more skill and more resilience to deal with the challenges. And once you make that commitment to stop playing small, it's from there that you'll start taking action. And as you go, you'll build the self-belief and the confidence that will fuel you. You'll learn to trust yourself more. And In doing so, you'll develop the self-awareness and the skills and the resilience to deal with the challenges and keep showing up, even when you're unsure. Because you are 100% in control of your career and of your life. And until you own how you want to feel and what you want to achieve, you will be a ghost of who you really are. You will be wearing that mask and showing up as someone else. And that's never fun. So I want you to get clear on what you want and who you need to become and start being that version of yourself. Stop apologizing, stop hiding. And wherever you are on the journey, know that you are capable and you are deserving of the career you aspire to. So my friend, it is time to step up and stop playing small. It's time to stop hiding and to have your own back. Because the world needs your unique perspective and skills. So it is time to go for it. You have got this and I am here cheering you on. Thanks for joining me on the Building Up Women in Property podcast. If you'd like to learn more about what I do, head over to Instagram. I'm at Beautiful Disruptions and reach out if you want to connect. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.